All right, guys. As you can imagine, with France and Europe going to absolute hell, these guys are on a tight leash as far as what the police are allowing and what they're doing. Reports are coming out from several sources that over the last couple of weeks, France has closed mosques, 330 weapons have been found, 223 persons have been arrested, and from what I understand, that was the tip of the iceberg, and, you know, every single tip they get, they have to respond to, and when they get there and stuff is in plain sight, or, you know, they get a tip that, you know, something is in one area or another, and they start finding this stuff, folks. You know, you got to understand, this is, the police now are basically a military force. I mean, they're finding supposedly RPGs and AK-47s that are, you know, fully automatic and war weapons like mortars and man pads and stuff. I mean, these guys are finding all kinds of crazy ass shit. And, you know, Europe has basically been overrun. I'm certain these numbers are a lot higher depending on how long you look at, you know, them closing down these facilities. You know, since the Paris attacks, I imagine there have probably been a thousand weapons, if not more, found. And more than 500 persons have been arrested. But in this story, the numbers are 330 and 223. So, I can only imagine exactly what the true numbers are that the police are finding, but I can only imagine that the numbers are quite higher, depending on who is investigating, where everything is being found, and everything else. I... Got two sources on this, one from the Norwegian Defense League and one from Jews News, unfortunately. But actually, on this one, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pretty solid story. And first time I read this, it almost sounded like they had closed 330 mosques. But it turns out 330 war weapons were found, 223 arrests were made. Um, basically, France has fallen. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm tired of sugarcoating it. it. Does me no good to sugarcoat this. It does me no good. It does you no good. Police investigating in Paris attacks have shut down three mosques in a series of raids that close the net of the Islamic extremism. Um, police in France also arrested the owner of a revolver found during a Wednesday raid. France Interior Ministry Bernardino, or Bernard uh, Casware. Uh, said, although I don't understand what a revolver would have to do with the war on terror. I mean, it's, I mean, if it was an illegal weapon, then they should state it. But I'm not certain finding a revolver is one thing or another. But people on the inside of this thing are finding a lot of things. Uh, they're under a state of emergency, folks. They don't need warrants and this and that. They get a call that these guys are doing some funny things. You know, they go in and it, whatever needs to be done is done. Security officials found jihadist documents at the mosques during the raids. They placed nine people under arrest at their home. Another 22 banned from leaving the country. 
France has been under a state of emergency since 130 people were killed in a series of terror attacks on November 13th. Uh, some 2,235 homes and buildings have been raided. 232 people have been taken into custody. 334 weapons have been confiscated. Uh, again, I can't show you this because my computer is being funny for some reason. And I need to find out why, and I will. But this is a big deal, folks. This is all pretty much in the last 15 days. This stuff has been seized. Uh, one third of the quantity of war grade, uh, war grade weapons that have been seized this year in the last 15 days. I mean, it's back and forth, folks. And there's not much I can tell you that's humbling. I imagine, you know, as quickly as they're finding this stuff, you know, they're getting anonymous tips that more are being found in other areas. So, to no longer sugarcoat this, folks. The police in France have probably become an army unto themselves because they needed to become. Um, I brought you that one story out of Russia. Russia, Russian police rather, found a bomb inside the mosque. Um, it was ruled to be um, unable to be moved or mosque or holy hall or something along the lines of that the bomb found was um, believed to no longer uh, be able to be moved without it going off so it was detonated inside the prayer hall as it was now because the prayer hall was illegal did Russia just decide to say that it could not be moved and just detonated it so that those people no longer had a safe haven? I don't know. So, it'll be interesting to see what's going on, folks. Um, there's all sorts of stories about armed militia. Um, police beatings, uh, people basically dying during police raids. You name the stories, I'm sure you can make them up in your head, as many as that I've heard. But, as many as you can name, I'm certain have been there. Um, there's all sorts of NGOs that are getting involved, but when local French police are failing to protect everybody, and this seems to be a round-the-clock thing, you know, at that, I think, folks, that there's no longer a country left to protect uh, you know, I hate to see churches and buildings be burned to the ground, but I think at this point, folks, if your store, if your building, if your group, etc., has found, say, X or Y to be involved in this, I think that building should no longer exist. It should be brought down. I don't want to say by fire, but fire can be a very good thing to, you know, make certain that nobody can reuse the building again. And, you know, every place they find this, they need to just go in, remove the people, do a clean sweep, 
you know, go in with thermals, find everything, fly the drone over, do thermal imaging layers, find everything else. And at that point, you know, let it go. And just keep the fire departments on standby. That's what I believe. That way, you know, they no longer have safe havens to do this stuff. I don't want to see churches burned. I don't want to see mosques burned. But it's coming down to the wire, folks. And if you harbor this sort of thing, you know, there has to be a stopping point. And I don't know if I would be so kind to put these people in prison. I'm almost certain the French have their own system where these guys are not going to prison directly. And I'm certain they have their own system that, you know, out of 300 arrests, you know, 75 of these guys don't make it to the precinct or whatever the number is. I don't want to use that type of talk either. But one of the ways you manage groups of violent people, folks, is by the numbers. Everybody wants to say that the Holocaust was a horrible thing, and it was. I don't care if you believe they were all Jews or they were all political dissidents or any number of things. The way you get groupthink in these things is by eliminating the threat vectors. You take out the leadership right in front of the proxies. You do not offer them safe haven. You do not do this. You do not do that. Now, granted, if they find a revolver, I, I, I wouldn't call that a reason for execution. You know, I mean, especially if, you know, you're working, you know, there and it's your own weapon. I mean, that that's, it seems to be a story in one case. And, you know, you're working late hours and all this stuff is going on, you know. I don't know France and its gun laws to know that every firearm is illegal, but if they're finding war weapons in your mosque or your church or your restaurant, if that were my city or my country, that night, that place would have an unfortunate fire. And that would be that. All the way to the ground. And that would be a vacant lot until this situation is resolved. That person would get a letter saying, you know, th those people saying, you know, um, alongside... The property of this, we're starting to inform you, you know, blah, 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 blah. We hope you have insurance, blah, 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 blah. But due to the reason for the investigation, we hope you understand that we no longer want your business in this country again. Due to these findings, thank you. And let that be that. And, of course, those people would be in jail, but the problem with being in jail for half these guys, folks, and I, I don't care if you're saying that half of them are going off to Gitmo or the private prisons. The problem is, folks, is these guys are going into these areas and they're getting radicalized. And then they're going off into the prisons and they're probably radicalizing half the prison populations that probably aren't. You know, somebody said to me one day, you know, Mark, you're having a lot of problems. People are saying a lot of stuff. You end up actually going away. And let's say they said that you had to go away for five years. But with Obama and the way things are, if you converted to Islam, you'd, you'd be home in, inside a year, year and a half. Would you do it? Well, I'm almost dead for the most part, so... I hope I would never have to make that choice, but if it beats being with my family faster, sooner, I don't want to say no. But I know in my heart of hearts that 
I am and always will be, you know, mostly new age Christian, but for the most part, my day to day, I'll admit it, I'm mostly kind of pagan. I don't necessarily worship goddesses and this and that, but I listen to my environment, I let it tell me things, and things like that generally are not in the Bible or the Quran or anything else. I've gone through the holy books, folks, and it all basically comes down to your better judgment of the situation and to not be so foolish to let one thing or another happen. So that and stories that go back thousands of years that they rewrite for any number of reasons. So, ladies and gentlemen, France is basically under attack. Technically, it's probably fallen. In the last 15 days, 330 weapons have been found. 223 people have been put under arrest. No doubt the businesses have been closed, and I can only imagine what's really going on behind the scenes as to how many of these guys might actually be surviving the uh, selective process. Because I'll guarantee you, folks, if this was happening in the United States, there's no way in hell I would want even the local police allowing these guys to just go off to prison to come back worse off than they are now. You know, at, at some point there has to be a selection process. You know, Johnny, Timmy, and Susie are the three people going away from this mosque or that mosque. You know, they're joining, you know, Billy, Johnny, and XYZ. Well, you know what? Out of the last 200, you know, 35 of those people, you know, have unfortunately fell to some kind of food poisoning in the prisons or something, you know, and have died. Oh, well, I don't want to say that that's a necessary thing, but, you know, if you were dealing with Nazi Germany, and you knew these guys were being brought up from the age of about 15. Oh, shit, I think it was 8 or 9 back then. To swear blood allegiance to the Fuhrer. And now you're faced with arresting 4,000 hardcore battle-hardened SS. What would be the first thing you would do? I'll tell you what I would do. I'd say there's only so many blankets. There's only so much food. And at some point or another, there would be a process of elimination. Because there's no way in hell I'd let those guys all go in together and come out together. You know, that guy with the revolver, or whatever the situation was, small potatoes. I mean, every minister probably has a gun or two in his office, and that doesn't necessarily count as a war weapon found. But, you know, if these guys want jihad, there's only one way you can help them with jihad. And that's to send them where they want to go. And that is the true indoctrination, folks, of the true believers. <laughs>